Hello everyone. So because I needed another project, I have something else sitting here at the house. After eight hours of driving yesterday, four there, four back, probably 440 miles, brought home a 2006 Dodge Ram 57 Hemi. Uh, this one actually isn't mine, this is a friend of mine. And the story behind this is someone else was driving the truck, it broke down with them, they took it to a mechanic, and the mechanic told me it needed an engine. Uh, it actually belonged to my friend's father and the truck sat there for a year they actually didn't know where the truck was so the guy dug through figured out whose truck it was he gave my friend's father a call hey is this your truck do you want it so they got uh got it with me and we rode down yesterday four hours there picked this truck up and pouring down rain winched it on the trailer talked to the mechanic and the guy said yeah motor's blown absolutely this truck does not run got it home and today the next day put the booster box on it turned the key and truck fired right up um was messing with it now something was wrong with it it was took there for a reason drained all the oil it had 10 quarts of oil in it supposed to have seven drain the oil change the filter on it and it was making a really loud ticking noise and i know about the hemi tick i've never well i have owned one but i didn't have a hemi tick but messing with the truck been sitting a year no idea who's done what to it so change the oil on it first thing change the oil and let it warm up the tick went away uh let truck cool back down completely started the truck up again no tick so i don't know if they took it in because of the tick or what was going on with it so did that pulled the plugs out of this truck and the gap on these plugs they were obviously old plugs gaps were around 0.055 to 0.06 they're supposed to be 0.04 we put them at 0.042 and truck ran a whole lot better much smoother still not completely right though took it up and down the road and it would do fine if you were in it you let out of it and the truck would shimmy shake when it went into overdrive um it just was not doing right but you pull off from a stop sign it would do great so i'm going to fire it up and let you hear it and i think i found what's wrong with it we've been through mass airflow sensors uh, map sensors like I said, changed all the spark plugs. And remember, this truck, I was told yesterday, had a blown motor in it. I mean, oil pressure is great. It doesn't overheat. Everything seems to be fine on this truck, except for this little stutter. And I think it's because of that kiss. And I don't know if you can hear it in the video or not. It's definitely on the driver's side in front of the engine. So pulled the intake, looking for vacuum leaks. That's what it does sound like. Went through, couldn't find it. So what I did, I think I found it now. I read all the trouble codes. Nothing indicated, hey, this is exactly a smoking gun. This is what's going on. But right here at injector one, you listen to it. You can hear it. Sucks it in, the idle goes up a little bit. So I think the whole reason this truck was parked and abandoned for the last 12 months at a guy's shop is for a leaking injector seal. So hopefully tomorrow I'll get some time to pull this apart and see what's going on with it. Other than that, this truck's in good shape. Obviously it's dirty. It's been sitting for a year. The guy that had it didn't care about it. But I'm excited and interested. This is my favorite part, taking something that's broke, making it work. So hopefully this will work out. Maybe it'll help somebody else. I'll update. We'll see what happens. All right, got this ram torn apart. And after moving the fuel, removing the fuel rail probably five or six times, changing gaskets, couldn't figure out what the problem was. And finally noticed here on cylinder one that where the O-ring fits down in here, part of the plastic lip is gone. I don't think you're going to be able to see that. But the biggest problem found was the hole right here in the side of the intake. That is not supposed to be there. So after being told this truck had a blown engine, went through all this and found a hole in the intake. So we'll get an intake ordered, get it on, and take care of this problem. Intake ordered, installed. All the injectors fit like they were supposed to. Intake is a little different. This is a Dorman. It's a couple of design changes from what the original uh, factory RAM one was. Nothing major. This oil filler cap is a bolt-on piece to this intake. 
This one is tiny compared to the other one. It's going to take a long time to fill it with oil. And back here in the back where the PCV valve goes, yeah, I can't see it. It's covered up, but that's a little different too. No big deal. Nice piece. Comes with gaskets. Everything just like it should be for an aftermarket part. But for a truck, I was told it had a blown engine. Needs a whole new engine. Put an intake on it. Reset the CELs. Dash is clean. No CELs on it. It does have a tick when you start it. Once the oil pressure comes up, it goes away. That is quiet and smooth, though. Just like it should be. Plenty of power. Not vibrating, not hissing. Again, this truck was abandoned. It was left for dead. It was abandoned by a shop that told the owner, hey, you got a blown engine. And the guy didn't want to put that kind of money into it. So here it sits, running great. Another truck back on the road. Appreciate you watching.